Thank you, Olivier. Uh, André. Yes, thank you. First of all, I, uh, I want to say the obvious, uh, that is, the, uh, uh, the con there, are, there will be consequences uh, uh, to the U.S. administration decision to withdraw from the Paris Accord. And this is obviously, and I agree with my colleague here, uh, that is, this is the first thing to be <laughs> discussed. Uh, there are many angles to discuss this, but uh, I think the most important impact is the loss of the U.S. leadership in uh, uh, promoting the uh, Protocol Accord. And, it, and I think it comes at a critical time because uh, at this time, what I understand is that uh, uh, most of the countries have set targets that are uh, less aggressive than what they were expected to do. And moreover, uh, the, uh, the, the action plans they've developed uh, uh, in many cases, or at least in some cases, will not even uh, bring them to reach their targets. Mm -hmm. So I think it's not only the US case we need to discuss. We need also to discuss the fact uh, that uh, uh, many countries might not, might not uh, uh, even reach their own uh, targets. There's this open, opening in, in five years after the, the uh, Paris Protocol for a reset, but uh, we'll, at least there's an, there will be an opportunity there, and maybe we will we like to discuss around what, uh, how could we uh, make best use of this. Uh, uh, opportunity. Uh, the, we, we need also to look at the, uh, to discuss what's happening in the USA. Mm -hmm. It's not only the withdrawal of the uh, Paris Protocol, it's also the uh, resurrection of coal uh, fired power plants, mm -hmm. uh, supposedly clean, uh, and also the retirement of many regulations. Uh, that uh, will impact the uh, U.S. Uh, emission, uh, that could greatly impact the U.S. emission, they being the second largest uh, emitters, has a lot of signification. And I think we should discuss what's happening inside uh, uh, the U.S. Andre, do you agree with Olivier? That she, he said that uh, Trump's decision of withdrawal from COP21 doesn't make much impact to the actual uh, 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 say happening in the U.S. for, 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 for the st structural changes yeah. in favor of the climate change I, mitigation. I think at least <laughs> we will see during the discussion, but yeah. I, I, I certainly partly agree because this is clean coal resurrections, for instance. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, we have to know that clean coal is expensive, very expensive. Mm -hmm. And I think we was, when he was talking to his electorate, mm -hmm. uh, the people thought it's a resurrection of coal. But in fact, he was saying resurrection of clean coal, coal through clean coal uh, technologies, which are very expensive. Mm -hmm. Well, that is, if that is the case, uh, uh, in, the, uh, in the commercial place, where in a, in a country where energy is deregulated, uh, uh, clean coal simply does not compete with uh, uh, combined cycles uh, powered by natural gas, especially in the United States. Um, let's move to Mr. Lee. Uh, 